good day everyone those of you that have been following this channel i appreciate you hello so we're working on this picture from beginning to the end now so i will encourage you to subscribe to my youtube channel all right let's move so firstly you duplicate the picture in case you make a mistake you can easily delete one then come to the other now let's see a tool we can use for for sketch you can use a technical pencil you know i have wanted bread but i choose to use let me use this painted bread for now all right i just choose to use that so you can choose to use any tool that can um give you what you want let me say it like that that can give you what you want okay now so generally normally smudge art shouldn't be sketched all right but for more beautification then uh, we bring this sketching inside heat is that okay so don't be surprised if you see me sketching this picture all right so i want to start from the nose well i can decide to start from anywhere is that okay okay i think the cough here is not okay done so now uh so let's draw the other part likewise Your cuffs like this can be frustrating, so you just have to draw it. There are tools you can use actually instead of using your hand, uh, but I just decide to use my hand. Then <clears throat> I can work with my eraser. Is that okay? Then my soft eraser, likewise. Those two are very, very, very important when you're working on your picture. Okay, so let's see that. Can you see this now? Okay. Let's move here. And then I still work with my soft reader. Let me create a new layer. And then I fill this with color. This black. I bring back my soft reader. Then I blend it and let's see what it's giving us. Can you see that? Okay, then I merge it and then create a new layer. Okay, just let <coughs> put this there. Is that okay? Then I can have something like this. Just be careful with the way you sketch hair. Alright. then i will bring a stroke like this okay hope you're understanding me so you put your sketches where it should be like maybe curves or you know where you are seeing joints you understand me now so you don't just sketch because you can't come here now and be sketching this place you understand so you have to sketch uh joints and uh, places that are dark that can be considered as dark areas you should understand what i mean now so when i say joints you should understand what i mean all right let's match this again and create a new layer and then we draw it the same way again here and then let's fill this okay and then we make use of our soft eraser again that's what's giving us okay now we can merge it and create a new layer all right so let's use our soft eraser here again so guys in few seconds i will fast up this video you know so that uh, it will save time you understand so that it will save time the purpose of making tutorials for you to see how things have been done not to copy what i'm doing you understand so even if you want to copy it it can't be exactly like mine it's never possible so i think i'm done with that also then what are other areas okay look at this place now well, I can just decide to do like this. Okay. Let's see if it's going to give us um, the kind of result we want. And then we use our soft eraser. Okay. I think it's going to give us what we're searching for. Okay. I think. Well, let me just undo some steps. And then do it again. 
okay that's better hope you can see how it did about area then we can do it again to this area note it's not compost drill all right i'm just showing you in case you see it in some of my designs like some of you hacks and you reclaim it's not in my tutorials But the purpose of this YouTube channel is actually to give you ideas on how things are being done. Hope you understand. So once you get the idea, then the purpose and motive of this channel is fulfilled. Then I can merge it together now. Okay, let me complete the notes and then I can fast up the tutorial so that I will save time. Let me see how I blend this area. That stroke is poor. Guess what I will do? I want it to be sharp. So I'll use myself to design this area. Now we're going to put the dark shade also. Okay. Now let's put let's use our soft user rather. Okay, can you see the nose? Okay, so let's proceed to sketch the mouth, the leaves. Alright, so just go with the pattern of the picture. Alright, as you can see these leaves now, many leaves are like this actually, so you just have to go with the pattern because it is a front view and always use your soft eraser on the edges. So that it can blend with the picture all right then you can merge once you're done and then you schedule the parts likewise as you can see So for the feet and um, you know you just need to be careful the way you, you sketch it just go with what is in the picture don't try to create heat for yourself you understand go with what is in the picture and then you can try to to work on the teeth well so you erase the areas that that are not going in line all right so this place is for shade you understand we are going to use um, our soft eraser in that area so that it can blend with the picture as you can see okay so let's sketch this area also and then we will make it dark shade likewise okay so now can you see so you put black color and then you sort eraser again in that area okay so let's check okay so let's blend it more Okay, create a new layer and then uh, let's continue sketching our feet. So once you're done with the sketching of that area, use your soft eraser to to blend the lower part so that it can go in line with um, the the leaves you understand okay so just blend it well and then you can merge it once you're done okay then you can create a new layer after that and then you continue sketching the leaves but you can decide to use your tool 
uh, I can advise you to use your hand actually if you don't know how to use these tools all right but you can as well use it is that okay not perfectly used actually but let's just make it like that let's use it like that is that okay and then you blend with your soft razor okay so let's see what you've done let's see just sketch uh, i mean zoom in and zoom out let's come to the highest then anytime you sketch like this just make sure it will um sketch you perfectly now i can use my soft razor on the edges you understand because it should blend the stroke should not be too much and then i'll do likewise to the to other area you understand i also use my soft razor There are some areas you cannot see you know with the glasses so you just have to use your discretion and then you sketch what should be there like what you see me doing now all right it's not showing very well but i know it will be there it must be there you understand so you just sketch it and then you blend with your salt eraser okay now so let's see what we've done here okay so zoom in back so you can just blend it to your own taste all right now create a new layer after margin it and then okay so let's choose a tool to use like a um, traditional brush traditional pencil to sketch the high row all right so reduce the size then don't put the opacity on 100 so that it will not be too obvious all right and don't make it to be too long because this is male we are trying to sketch not female understood then you go to the second part likewise that's how you're done okay so just let's do everything perfectly well and then we put everything that has to make it beautiful so i flipped that is why the other side come here right so check your tools you see flip there then you can continue sketching all right then after you're done with that actually you can use your soft eraser to to blend in Okay, so let's draw this area likewise. You know, it's not showing very well in the picture, so that is why we need to use our soft eraser to blend it very, very well. Okay, so do the edges, don't let it be too thick. Okay, so likewise, blend this one also. Do the same to the other side, All right? And then the edges for this, you blend it okay it's like one area is more thicker but no problem just let's match and then you draw the high all right with the two that you can see there So let's continue now merge it and then uh, just make sure these strokes are not too obvious you know because it's not showing all right so don't forget anytime you flip your pictures to flip it back always put that in mind all right so let's draw the shadow of the deep all right so choose any tool that is not too hard you understand that the edges is not too hard all right so you can choose any tool for that and then you do the shade like you can see me doing now and then you do the other side so the reference picture will be my telegram channel all right so you can go there and then you get the picture so that you can work on it likewise so you can see how i'm putting the shade all right just make sure the tool you are using is not so thick because of the hedges now use a soft eraser 
right so increase it to your home size and then you erase a little part of it just let it make um, some little shadow shadows all right you can see now let's see reduce the opacity okay i think it's good like this so let's reduce it a little then you merge it all right so create another new layer and then you do the same to to the lower lips all right okay so choose your um add pencil also for the beard all right so i don't want the beard to be too obvious so just take it and let's perform some tricks on the beards i just have to sketch one side i don't need to sketch the other all right so you see what i have to do i will have to sketch one side like this so let's see okay you see the reason why i'm using this tool the the um, edges is not too thick you understand so if you are using tools like you know paint tempered tools like technical pen you know all of that the hedges will be too strong it will, it will be too thick right so just let's use this you know and then don't put it in 100 percent opacity i have my reasons for that and then just continue to to draw the pattern of the bit right you can see my hand is not straight i'm not drawing a straight line is that okay because beards are not straight so don't draw straight line just curve your hand to the direction of the beard okay so don't mind the white you are seeing there it's not that the person has gray beards you understand this camera and um, enhance that causes that is that okay So guys let's perform some trick once you've sketched one side just duplicate the layer and then use your transform tool okay so you flip it to the other side and then you use your arrow to to shift it to the side you haven't drawn you haven't sketched is that okay so just set it properly be sure it is well set let's set it well you can see i'm doing my phone don't rush it okay i think it's good so click on your check mark all right let's see okay i think let's check it out wow can you see that but note this does not work for all beards you need to know that it does not work for all beards all right so it only works for this so we thank god that it do work but it doesn't work for her is that okay so let's work on the mustard chair and every other part okay you can see how i'm sketching mine you can see i'm sketching it you can see so just follow it and then like i said the picture the reference picture so that you can work with it will be on the telegram channel all right link will be in my description box just join it and then just search for the picture in the group then you see it and download and then work on it once you're done send the work to the group or you send it to my whatsapp group and then there i'll be able to correct your work is that okay so if i don't see it you can just tag me and then once i'm free i will reply your messages okay so you flip to the other side likewise so i love to flip because once i'm enjoying the flow of which i'm drawing i just love to keep to hit you understand so that's why you see me always flipping to the right to the left anytime is that okay so just sketch it well
this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even Open up We can move to the hair Alright, so let's see the tool we can use Let me check the hair um, Let's see We can use a charcoal Yeah, charcoal will work well Okay, so just use your charcoal on it and then be careful it's still on the edges of the work is that okay i can see me doing so that the edges will not be straight and not too thick So you obviously can see that using this tool will not make the hedges too strong. It will not make it too thick, you understand, as you can see it. Hope you get why I'm using it now. So if you just use just any tool, the edges will be straight. It will not be as if it is hair growing from that area. Then the middle you can just use any tool, you know, just a few black color inside of it. You understand. So after you're done with that, now we can reduce the layer. So that we can do the finishing to heat all right so those areas that you are not needing just clean it out like the areas for where the glasses is just clean it off all right then we can employ our soft eraser okay so increase the opacity and then use your soft eraser to blend the hair is that okay blend the hair very very well okay let's see Blend this area likewise. Alright. So time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't wanna waste what's left. So I really thank you guys, those of you that have come to watch this part. So be expecting another part on how to sketch the body right here on this YouTube channel. So it's coming sooner than you expect. Just do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can get notification the moment I drop the other part. Thank you for watching it. I'll meet you in the next part.